Uh, greetings, comrades. We all know that uh, there are plus minus 172,000 holders of the Zimbabwe exemption permits, ZEP, which cabinet said was no longer going to renew and asked everyone to move to other various visas. While we lead the Zimbabwe community in South Africa, we are unable to interact with every holder of the Zimbabwe exemption permit. It becomes impossible. We have tried our level best to use all platforms to reach out to, the, to every holder of the ZEP. That is through the main media platforms, your TV, radio, and the social media platforms. But in social media platforms, for instance, WhatsApp, will not be able to reach everyone. So that means there are many holders of ZEP that you have not directly interacted with. This means that other ZEP holders uh, get information through their own local leaders or those that uh, they are together in some uh, social media platforms, be it a church platform, a business platform or any other social media platform. So some decisions that are then taken in those uh, media platforms by holders of ZEP do not necessarily represent the general position of the leadership of the Zimbabwe community in South Africa. Others have decided that uh, uh, the best route uh, to resolve or to find a solution to the ZEP is to go through uh, the legal process, that is to, uh, to approach the South African courts. While ourselves we have said uh, we will not go to court, uh, 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 we have clarified in the previous videos why we will not go to court and our decision has not changed. We have always preferred to engage government on the ZEP and the other documentation uh, for Zimbabweans and other migrants. This is why we are part of the African Diaspora Forum. Uh, I am today on the 18th of uh, March 2022. I had an opportunity to meet with other leaders who are also assisting Zimbabweans uh, who are holders of ZEP. Uh, I met Comrade Luke Mufaro Zwiti uh, and uh, ben Comrade Benjamin of a lunch in Johannesburg. And uh, the reason why we are explaining this is because uh, there are processes that in the platforms that they are leading, that according to them, they have been asked to look into. So the, our meeting over lunch was basically to share notes on what we do as the leadership of the Zimbabwe community in South Africa and of course what they themselves do and they see where we can find common ground. In the meeting we agreed that uh, they should continue working as, as, as they are working, as we have no moral uh, uh, ground to stop them, uh, they are leaders in their own right. They should continue working with the people that they are working with and uh, implement the decisions that they are being asked to implement by those that they are leading. But that does not mean uh, we are part of what they have been asked to implement. In the discussions that we had, we share to them our own engagement with government and political parties in South Africa. And of course the challenges that, that we are confronted with. And we have outlined these challenges before that the majority of people that work in low paying jobs will not be able to qualify to move to other visas unless uh, there is a waiver around some of the requirements that uh, are stated as one applies for a general work visa. We also understand, of course, that uh, 
there are people that are contributing financially for, so that the decisions that have been taken are implemented because it will require financial assistance or financial support to do so. That, of course, uh, is being overseen by the leadership uh, 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 that is led by Comrade Lokumufaro Zwit. And there's the leadership of the Zimbabwe community in South Africa. We do not interfere and they will not interfere in what they have decided to do. As we were discussing, they did explain to us that the decision on whatever was they were asked to implement did not come from them, but it came from uh, the various media platforms where they are members too. Of course, we, as I have said earlier on, that uh, we shared our views with them and agreed to continue to meet. Uh, after our meeting, uh, social media platforms are now buzz with uh, uh, questions because we obviously took a photo and is circulating on social media. And the comrades are now asking if we, we are part of the processes that they are doing. As I've said, that they have been asked, according to them, by their members or those that they are with uh, to implement certain decisions. We are not part of those. But uh, as the leadership of Zimbabwe community in South Africa, we are always available to meet anyone and offer our advice and counsel. But it does not mean that uh, when we give someone advice, they must take the advice as it is. Uh, uh, they are leading people, so they have to go back and uh, consult and uh, see what is best for them. So the point that we want to clarify is that uh, we, we are not part of the decisions that they have taken, but we con will continue to share notes with them. And, and of course, others that uh, would want to engage with us. We have said previously that uh, 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 though ourselves we have uh, uh, consulted advocates uh, over the decision not to renew the Zimbabwe exemption permits, we have said because uh, there are these court processes, we will not at this stage give our own opinion on what is likely to happen once the case gets to court. Uh, 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 we don't think it would be fair on our part to uh, 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 publish or air our own legal opinion, which we have gathered from other uh, advocates. We don't think it would be fair. So this is why we are not doing so at this stage. Uh, what, what we obviously call on holders of ZEP is to indicate areas where they are struggling to apply for ZEP. Uh, this, this is where we come in, where we should be assisting each other. Uh, there are others that are still getting confused on the meaning of a waiver. Some still think that it is uniform, not to understand the fact that we have produced about three videos or so explaining the waiver. Uh, and we have said that it is not uniform. So it's important that we hear your challenges in terms of you applying for a permit or to move from ZEP to another visa as directed by the South African cabinet. Uh, you will recall that last week Friday we did indicate that uh, we will be meeting uh, or requesting a meeting with the Director General of Home Affairs. In, indeed, we spoke, I personally spoke over the phone with the Director General of Home Affairs and uh, he suggested that uh, we put in writing whatever issue that uh, we want to discuss with him. So it is on this basis that uh, we are making a call to say, uh, share with us your challenges <coughs> in, in applying uh, or in moving to other visas so that when we then next week write to the Director General, we capture those issues so that the Department of Home Affairs can look into those and uh, see if there is a way they can 
uh, uh, waiver uh, some of the requirements. Like we said, that the, the, people, the reason why people were allowed to uh, apply in South Africa who are holders of ZEP, that on its own was a waiver. Uh, uh, because uh, you will know under the Immigration Act, it says that uh, a, a, a person, uh, uh, when, when you come into South Africa, uh, normally you are using, you are given a, a, a visitor's visa at the port of entry. Say you come for an interview, you get a job, you do not change the condition of your visa in South Africa. You have to go back to your country of origin and then apply for a work visa. But the fact that they said uh, holders of ZEP should change their conditions of their visas in South Africa, that on its own is a, it's, it's a waiver. So uh, it's important then that uh, we share with the Department of Home Affairs to say, in our own experience, uh, this is what uh, holders of ZEP are saying in terms of the challenges that uh, they are faced with in, in, in moving to other visas and seeing whether there's any assistance that uh, can be given uh, to such individuals. So we we'll expect you that, that you share. Uh, uh, otherwise, comrades, uh, like, like I said, if you are making any financial contributions uh, to any process that is underway or asked by anyone to make any financial contributions, uh, that uh, becomes your own decision. Uh, it's your money, uh, it's your decision. So we cannot say contribute or do not contribute. It's your own conscience. Those that are saying uh, contribute, they will explain to you why you are contributing. And in any case, as we understand, uh, it is people that has suggested that a fund should be created. But as I'm saying, we're not part, part of that legal fund. But, but if you want to contribute, it's your decision. If uh, again you feel otherwise, it's your decision. Uh, so we do not want a situation where people will say the leadership of the Zimbabwe community in South Africa asked the people to create a legal fund. We have not done so. And again, we would not want the uh, Congress to say we are blocking them in terms of working because they have been asked by those that they represent. We do not want that to be so. Uh, so this is why I was saying you make up your own, it's your, yourself who should take the decision whether to contribute or not to contribute. But uh, what we are interested in uh, is that uh, please indicate to us the challenges that you are facing in, in applying to move to other visas. Uh, we have said previously that uh, uh, it does not make sense uh, for you to strike in using your laptop or your phone. I've seen others uh, trying to download the application form on their cell phones. Uh, they are striking someone with their phone in the middle of the night say, Comrade McBenna, I'm in this page. What do I feel in here? They require a control number or a ref number. Which one is it? Is it a control number or what? Uh, I've said that at a personal level, I'm not good in doing a, a physical application for anyone. So this is why we suggested that it doesn't a, 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 a do harm in asking someone, maybe pay the person 20 rand or 30 rand to assist you in completing the form so that you submit your own application. Uh, otherwise, comrades, thank you so much. Please subscribe uh, to this YouTube channel. Uh, keep your comments coming. We will certainly uh, incorporate them in the letter that uh, we will send after the holidays to the Director General of Home Affairs. Otherwise, have a great day. Goodbye.